Item number SCP-1403 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-1403 are to be contained in a room constructed with 2.5 centimeters of lead shielding. All personnel entering SCP-1403's room, with the exception of D-Class under test conditions, are to wear protective radiation gear and standard disometer batches at all times. Each instance of SCP-1403 is to be connected to a standard 9-volt battery, which should be replaced every two weeks. The protein amino acid solution of each instance of SCP-1403 is to be replaced weekly. Description Instances of SCP-1403 include 31, Update 27. Note, four instances have been terminated during testing. Creatures resembling common goldfish, each contained within the light bulb of non-standard design. The base of each is of the double contact bayonet design, however, each lacks a filament. These bases can be unscrewed from the bulbs, allowing access to the interior of the bulbs. Inside the bulb of each object is approximately 120 millimeters of a solution of proteins, amino acids, and water necessary for the nutrition and respiration of the creatures. These bulbs are not anomalous in any way beside their non-standard design. All instances of SCP-1403 were initially discovered contained within these bulbs and have been determined to be an ideal container for them. Instances of SCP-1403 do not appear to consume food or produce waste. Instead, receiving sustenance when electric current is passed through the water they reside in. All contained instances of SCP-1403 are female, and attempts at breeding with normal goldfish have been unsuccessful. The creatures can be removed from the objects by dismantling the bulb and will starve after approximately five days unless provided with an alternative source of electrical current and proteins. Dissections have revealed that the creatures are not common goldfish. They possess no digestive tract, and in its place is an organ that is responsible for converting electricity into sustenance for the creature. This is accomplished by passing an electrical current through a mixture of carbon dioxide and water, producing glucose. The creatures directly filter proteins from their environment into their blood through their gills. This process produces very little waste. Instances of SCP-1403 exhibit additional visible anomalous properties when connected to an electrical current. The creature will emit electromagnetic radiation in the segment of the visual spectrum corresponding to orange. When the electrical current exceeds 1 amp, this radiation will begin to enter the ultraviolet spectrum. As the amplitude of the electrical current increases, so radiation gradually becomes more intense and higher frequency, eventually passing through the upper reaches of the electromagnetic spectrum. At 4 amps, the radiation enters X-ray wavelengths and gamma wavelengths at 6 amps. At 5 amps, the radiation emitted is potent enough to be harmful to humans in a short period of time, exceeding 1 to 2 zevit per hour. Extreme caution should be exercised when exposing an instance of SCP-1403 to electrical current greater than 3 amps. Emitting radiation in this fashion does not harm SCP-1403 in any way, though experiments have shown that they are vulnerable to radiation generated from outside sources. Addendum Recovery Log 1403 SCP-1403 was initially discovered during a foundation raid on Beep Pet Store in Beep, Texas on Beep, 19 Beep. None of the store's records make reference to any products fitting the description of SCP-1403. The shop had 10 instances of SCP-1403 on display connected to a standard electrical outlet. A sudden power surge caused all ten of the creatures to emit a powerful burst of radiation. Six serious injuries and three fatalities resulted from the raid.
Item number SCP-3790-J Security Level 5 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures An armed guard is to be stationed outside the entrance at all times with orders to terminate any individual attempting to enter SCP-3790-J. Once a day, this guard is to enter SCP-3790-J and maintain all contained entities with orders to terminate any entity approaching the door. Description SCP-3790-J is the Colonial Shopping Plaza PetSmart in Miami, Florida, now abandoned. It is accessible through the large automatic doors at the front of the store. Note, research regarding how to disable these doors is ongoing. A paper sign is taped to the inside of the door, reading, sealed by the Department of Health, we mean abnormalities. The remainder of this file has been locked by O5 order. Lock overridden. The interior of SCP-3790-J is structured similar to a standard PetSmart. Note, a comparison to a truly baseline PetSmart is impossible due to any anomalous properties of all PetSmarts. The store is divided into several aisles and walkways, with four checkouts at the front. Only one of these checkouts is open at a time. It is unclear whether this is also an anomalous effect. The vast majority of SCP-3790-J is empty, excluding four aisles near the back of the store. Each of these aisles contains four animal habitats, excluding aisle four. Each habitat contains an entity, is marked with a phrase written in Sharpie permanent marker, and is all openings sealed shut. Addendum 3790-J1 Chamber Contents, Aisle 1, Common Pets Habitat 1 Marking, this feels like an obvious solution. Description, a small glass tank containing a concrete figurine. The tank also contains a large amount of brown waste, which appears to be piling out of a makeshift litter box. The figurine is unmoving. Habitat 2 Marking, we'll try to sell you cures, just say no. Description, a large glass tank containing a common mallard wearing a porcelain mask fitted to its bill. The habitat also contains several surgical implements, which the duck uses to threaten personnel while quacking. Habitat 3, marking, he has self-esteem issues. Description, a small wooden crate, nailed shut on all sides, a soft sobbing can be heard from inside. Habitat 4. Marking. Must be antimimetic or something. Description. Reptile tank. Contains a common chameleon. IO2. Aquatic. Habitat 1. Marking. So that's why you can't touch it anymore. Habitat. A dry fish tank containing a small shark. The shark swims around in the empty air and has several bruises on its snout. Habitat 2. Marking. Don't forget to feed the eels this time. Description. A large fishbowl. No personnel could record the content of this habitat. Habitat 3. Marking. Pretty big tank for a sea slug. Description. Description. A massive glass fish tank containing a bloated corpse of an adult male dressed in 18th century formal wear. Habitat 4. Marking. Mrs. Fish. Description, a small fishbowl containing a VHS tape of Disney's The Little Mermaid. The tape is unspooled. IO3, Exotic. Habitat 1, Marking, No Marking. Description, small pet rock cotton containing one rock appears to be dead. Habitat 2, Marking, Do Not Eat. Description, Last tank containing a black snail, which secretes a corrosive black slime, extremely hostile. Habitat 3. Marking. Reads too much theory. No praxis. Description. A reptile habitat containing a boa constrictor, a severed 
the arm is haphazardly glued to the snake's head. Habitat 4. Marking. That freaking lizard. Description. A small tank contains several shed lizard scales. Aisle 4. Aisle 4 contains only one habitat placed behind a large triple padlocked steel door with a sliding viewport. Habitat 1. Marking. There she is. Description. A cat carrier containing the rear half of a common tabby cat.